No. No. And I'll deal with you anymore. Go away. IS-091, otherwise known as the Layak, is one of the more tricky entities we've dealt with. First discovered in Indonesia, it was given the name Layak based on the local Balinese folklore. Upon Dr. Stern's discovery, the Layak gradually made its way back to the facility in an attempt to find it. Since then, it's been wanted in the facility and has been progressively difficult to keep captured due to its transcorporeal nature. The Layak has a large red body with several wandering eyes and is always hovering just a few inches above the ground. Four long spinal tentacles dangle from it along with two lungs and two exercises that appear to be its arms. And although rarely noticed, it does have long, thick hair strands protruding on its back. When the Layak chooses a victim, it will slowly float or hover towards them, emitting a soft moan sound. <laughs> This sound is one of the few warnings the victim has before coming into contact with it. The layer can effortlessly phase through solid obstacles, doors, and even sometimes floors. Upon observation, it freezes in place, and if observed for a long enough time, it will disappear. This is only temporary, as the layer will appear again three to four hours later. The victim is the only person capable of visually and orally observing the layer. No known means of attack seem capable of harming the Layak or hindering its movement. Once a certain distance from the victim, the steady breathing will instantly shift into an intense wheeze as the Layak attempts to... the victim, which can result in severe bodily harm if allowed near. At this point, only put enough distance between them or stare at them long enough for it to vanish will the Layak cease its attack. Despite the Layak's incorporeal nature, it appears to exhibit some sort of physical presence, being capable of opening doors, and its movement can be constrained by walls. The best method of pacifying the Layak is by using a high-intensity discharge of X-rays. When the Layak is bombarded in such a way, it disappears and leaves behind an orb of its essence. The Layak essence is highly radioactive, so it must be stored someplace with radiation shielding. This essence can be used to craft various items, one such thing of note would be the handheld X-ray lamp for more personal defense against the Layak. As of this time, there is no known permanent solution to keep the Layak contained, so it is very important to be vigilant and keep an X-ray device handy or nearby. Hopefully, this instructional video will help you with understanding the Layak and how to deal with it. Special thanks to Ultraviolet Combat for helping with the script writing for this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and if you would like to support me further, you can check out my Patreon as well.